Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today I'm gonna to show you a couple different ways to style leather pants. I have two pairs of pants here that I wanna share with you. One is the Ritzia Molinas. The pair that I have is actually in this brown color and I got it in a size four. I'm 125 pounds and normally a size 26 in jeans. So the size four fit me pretty snug, but they do stretch out just a smidge. So especially with the style of pant, I feel like they look really good if they're fitted around the waist. The style of pants, is really in right now it's kind of like a baggier fit really straight leg looks really good with chunky shoes and sneakers and let's be honest that's all that I'm wearing nowadays the other leather pants I'm gonna be styling are actually a dupe for the Molinas that I actually thrifted they make my bum look so stinking good and if you like the fit of the Ritzia Molinas but you don't quite want to spend that money I highly recommend going out to thrift stores and trying to find something similar because there actually were a lot of pants that we we're out looking that are very very similar and so before we go ahead and jump into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's just a free and easy way to support me it means so much also make sure you hit that little notification bell that lets you know every time i post a new video every tuesday and thursday you definitely don't want to miss out and without further ado let's go ahead and get started this first outfit is probably one of my favorites from this entire lookbook it's so casual but still kind of striking so I have this crop jacket from Aritzia that I've worn in a few Instagram posts already I feel like it's such a good jacket that goes with so many different things and I love that it's cropped because it really does bring the emphasis to the pants the booty which we love these pants just fit me perfect like I just got so lucky with these and I can't believe it's real leather and it was a fraction of what the Aritzia Molina pants cost which is amazing Amazing. I paired it with my chunky platform Converse. I've been so into these shoes lately. I highly recommend if you like the look of Converse, get the platform ones because it helps to add such a statement to my outfit. The shirt is from Michael Stars. I think it's super cool because it does have like a little arm cut out so it makes it kind of different looking. The shirt's actually kind of long so I do have it tucked into the pants to help bring a little emphasis to my waist and that way it doesn't peek out too much from under the crop jacket. I feel like this whole outfit is such a good basic. Next outfit I wanted to style my mochas so these are the Jordan 1 mochas these are actually the highs I get questions all the time about my Jordan so I do have a video all about how to style my Jordans and all the ones I do have are high tops this top is thrifted we've seen it in quite a few of my lookbooks already but I feel like it's such a good graphic tee I love thrifting for finding these types of t-shirts so I have it tucked into my pants and then I have an oversized denim jacket over top this jacket is also thrifted it's a vintage Levi's jacket and I just love the oversized look and I feel like on top of this outfit it really helps to add that pop of color and prevent this outfit from looking too plain and monotone so if you wanted to you could throw a beanie on top and you could throw your hair in a low bun it would be such a vibe next outfit we are starting with the basics I have this beige hoodie from Aritzia I feel like it's such a good layering piece I have it tucked into my pants and actually do like to tuck a lot of the pieces that I have especially if I'm wearing like baggier pants just to help the outfit look a little bit more flattering on my body then on top I have this coat from Aritzia that you've probably seen a couple of times this is one of my like must-have wardrobe staples and it's just a long black wool coat and it's a really good statement piece it also is a great topper so I feel like in this case it helps to pull the whole outfit together and make it look a little bit less basic I also have my mochas on again next outfit I feel like a white crop tank is just such a good basic to have this one here is from Aritzia you've probably seen this outfit on my Instagram I loved it so much I felt like I had to show it here this hoodie is from Aritzia it's like an elevated basic I love the color it goes with everything I love that it has kind of a fun texture and it's a crop fit because it is a crop fit it makes this outfit look not as frumpy then I have the mochas again I just feel like all the colors tie in really nicely again because of the way that these pants fit kind of long and baggy next outfit I am obsessed I've been loving clipping my hair in this little bun situation I feel like it gives me like cool mom vibes so I have the same tank from earlier and I put on my Nike Air Force Ones. I feel like these are another staple shoe. This shirt is actually a vintage polo shirt that I thrifted a couple of weeks ago. And I feel like this is just such a great kind of jacket to wear over top because it is oversized. It is so versatile. And since it is a little bit frumpy, I feel like throwing my hair up really helped to balance out 
out the outfit and make it look a little bit more chic. Next outfit you've probably seen before. I've worn something similar in Carmel. I feel like with brown pants, you have to wear brown with it. And I love a good monotone outfit. This coat here is from Everlane. This is the Rewool coat. I've worn it time and time again. It's just one of my favorite pieces in my closet. It really is a great statement piece and it just makes the whole outfit look so much more elevated. And these are my Aritzia and Melina pants. The color is just so striking. They fit me really, really well. This long sleeve top is from Free People. I got it a while back, so I don't think it's available, but I'll link similar. But I just feel like a white v-neck is such a good basic, such a good layering piece. Next outfit, I've been really into layering turtlenecks with crew necks, and I just feel like it gives like a very vintagey vibe. And if you have pieces that are similar colors, it's a great way to be able to pull off something like this and not look, you know, like dorky. For my shoes, I have these Koyo Biancos. I love these shoes. These are kind of platform shoes. This crew neck is from Rag and Bone, also thrifted. I've been so into thrifting lately. You guys know I don't like supporting fast fashion. That oversized fit allows me to layer underneath it. This outfit is pretty comfortable, but still looks really great. And especially with my hair pulled back, it just looks very, very chic. Brandon actually told me that this is his favorite outfit and I was like, what? I thought it'd be kind of different to pair black with these brown pants. I feel like I tend to reach for more whites. I have the sweater here from Everlane. It's a really chunky knit sweater. I tucked it in because it is a little bit long. I have the same black coat from earlier and I feel like it really helps to pull everything together. And then I do have my Jordan 1 mochas that you have seen before. Next outfit, I challenge myself to wear some grays just because with browns, like I said, I tend to gravitate towards whites, creams, and browns. So I have this gray long sleeve from earlier and then my Air Force Ones. This is actually like a heather gray Aritzia sweater. It helps to tie in the light gray shirt with the pants. It's a different type of outfit because the colors are just not what you expect, but it still looks really, really great. I hope you enjoyed all of these outfits. Let me know which one was your favorite. I'll go ahead and link everything down below as well as sizing and body measurements like I always do. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Change the way you dress, the way you kiss, everything cause you are scared that I